I'm the Lady Panda. Welcome back to another video on Palea. Today we're going to talk about uh, building, building in Palea, uh, making furniture, decorating, building your home, expanding your plot, all the great things that you can do um, to make it your own. First and foremost, um, a lot of people wanted to know how to place things. One of the first things that you get is this work table and a lot of people didn't know how to place it. So if you have it in your inventory, say it's in slot number five, you're gonna click the number five. Um, actually, let me pick it up so I can show you. I will teach you this in just a second. Okay, it's in my inventory and um, you can press four, mine is on uh, number four. And as you can see, it opens up a grid and as long as the outline is is green you can place it if the outline becomes red you cannot place it there are ways to rotate it you can rotate it with your mouse scroll wheel or you can press q or e to turn it either way um, once you have found where you want to place it i want to put mine inside of here and turn this around i want to put it as close to the wall as possible you're gonna click left mouse button and that will confirm the placement. Um, as you saw, I did pick this up. You can move literally anything at any time, even if it's um, a smelter and it's melting things, even if it's a, a, a crop plot and it's growing things, even if it's a chest and it's full, you can move anything. What you do is you hit left control button that opens up the grid. You walk up to the thing that you want to move and you can either click left mouse button to move it or you can click G to move it into your inventory. If you just want to get rid of it, you click G, put it in your inventory and then you can put it into storage. One of the most fantastic things about this game um, is the storage space. If you go all the way to the right, on your classifications or your organization bar and you click on decor, you'll notice that on the bottom there is no limit. The limit does not exist for my mean girl girls and guys and days. Um, it says unlimited decor storage, which means all of your furniture, all of your flooring, all of your wallpaper, all of, anything that is considered decoration can be stored in here with unlimited storage power, which is awesome <laughs> so that's moving placing things um when you are placing things or moving things or removing things and you are in the control menu with the grid on if you want to put something down but you want to ignore the grid lines you don't even want to see them you can click the letter z and the grid lines disappear but you're still able to move and pick up any material around you if you're trying to move the tent you will need to empty it first. You cannot move a tent um, that, uh, for example, um, is full of things. Now you can move the plots and, and the smelters and things, but not the whole tent, as you can see. <gasps> I lied. You can move the whole tent? You can move the whole tent, even with all the things <laughs> inside. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you, Palea. Moving on. <laughs> How do you build your house? Now, initially, <laughs> oh my gosh. Initially, you get a tent and then you will get a foundation for your home. There's two ways that you can put it down. You initially get it as an item in your inventory and you can place it like any other item. You select the, the slot from your hot bar and then you press left mouse button to place it. Okay, um, there is another way to move things in Palea on your home plot. If you click the, click the letter H, it opens up an entire new menu. From here, you can unlock plots with your writs that you purchased in the city hall register. You can um, add rooms. As you can see, I'm adding a small room in the back. And you can move the house entirely. You just click it and you can move it. I think I'm gonna regret having clicked that. So 
I'm just going to escape real quick. Okay, it's right back where it was. <laughs> okay, so you can move the entire house. You can move this. You can move these. You can move absolutely anything along um, in your plot with uh, the H menu. As you can see, there's you can also access your inventory. Um, when you get um, additional rooms or hallways or things like that, you will, the easiest way to find them is to hit H and they will be at the top of your items. Or if you click the house section in the left-hand side, it'll say six by six for a small room, seven by seven for a medium room, a uh, three by three for a hallway, so on and so forth. You can select them and you can see them light up green when you attach them to the house. Right now I'm creating a bedroom in the back of my main room. I already have a kitchen. The kitchen cost me 8,000 gold for the extension. And then I had to put, I think it was 50 wooden planks and 30 bricks into it. Um, don't, it, please ignore the server connection loss. And then it, um, it took five real life hours to build. This is the room that's being built. And as you can see, when you click F on the sign in front of the building, that is how you contribute your items. This room requires 60 sapwood planks and 22 stone bricks to build once it's done i actually have all those materials i don't know if it's gonna let me do this with the server disconnected but i'm gonna try no i can't so i'm gonna end the game and come right back. okay we're back sorry about the server disconnection that's just closed beta things but i'm gonna go ahead and grab my bricks mm, there's no bricks in here there's that and let me see, are there any bricks in here? There's not. I have 57. I think I'm gonna need to make some more. So we're gonna put these in there and we're gonna get our planks, which I do believe, yes, I do have enough planks. They have to be in your inventory for you to um, add them to the sign up front. So let's go do that. So this is the sign for the room that I'm adding. This is a small room. I think it's six by six or seven by seven. I'm gonna go ahead and enter all 60 wood planks of wood and 22 stone bricks. And there it is, everything's been added. You click on it one more time and you'll see that in about four hours IRL time, um, my small room will be built. So that is how you add a room extension to your existing home. Um, that's also how you craft um, furniture and things. Uh, every time you craft something new, you also get a new recipe to craft another thing. If you make a homestead stool, you'll get another homestead recipe. If you make an industrial chair, you'll get something else industrial and so on and so forth. There are... I believe six or seven different kinds of furniture, different classifications from Kilima to Homestead to Capital Chic, Industrial, Ranch, um, and Ravenwood. And there's a couple more. Um, but as you continue to build, ooh, do I have enough light bulbs? I wanna make this chandelier. Chandelier. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Let me check if I have enough glass. Oh, darn. I only have three light bulbs and I think I need five for that chandelier. I'm gonna have to grind for that, which means I need stone. Um, let me see. Once you have built your furniture and leveled up your furniture building, you continue to make things and decorate. This is my house so far. I need to move this back over here. I had this here. I'm gonna move it again once the room is built, but for no reason at all. I feel like having this here now. But this is my house, my humble abode. I have dedicated a lot of time and energy to decorating. As you can see, this is my bedroom. All of that is gonna be moved to the small room in there. This is my living room and I'm gonna add to it and expand once I move the bedroom into the actual small room. And if we go through into here, this is my kitchen. I have all my pantries out here, my kitchen table with a bench on one side for guests. And then these are all the cooking um, 
processors, there's an oven, a mixing table, a prep table, and a stove so far. I have a cute little sink in the corner, but it's not functional. Um, it's just for decoration. So that is how you build and decorate. I think that's everything. Um, I'm just gonna give you one last demo. Uh, I have these pots and pans. I already have them up here, but I wanna show you how to put them up. So you're gonna click number five because that's where it is on your hot bar. Your hot, hot bar is the bar on the bottom right hand corner of the screen. You're gonna click left mouse. And as long as it's green, you can just click left mouse again to confirm and the item that you wanna place is now placed. I hope this has been helpful and informative. If you have any other questions, drop them in the comments. I really appreciate you hanging out with me. Don't forget, you are valid, you're loved, you're incredible, you got a fat ass and you deserve all the pizza in the world. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.